Welcome to Game 3, the deciding match between Dentarg and Seraph, upper right hand corner. We have Dentarg starting as the Grey Protoss, bottom left hand corner. We have Seraph starting as the Orange Protoss. This is going to be on Polypoid. And apologies again for missing the drop last match. I think what I was expecting was is I was expecting Dentarg to rotate the... This is the problem. In my brain, I'm like, this is what should be happening here, is that Reaver should be hanging out with the Dragoons and blockading that natural expansion or engaging and maybe picking some off and kind of doing some micro there if there's an engagement. I was not expecting the drop in the main, mostly because oftentimes if that Reaver and that shuttle get picked off, it's a huge shift in momentum. But also, yeah, it was kind of weird. I'll have to keep an eye with these colors because it, that orange disappeared into the gray. I'm not used to that. I'm wondering if that's just a feature of these two colors or if it's a minimap thing that's always been the case or what. Or if it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, no excuses. I'll try to do better moving forward. Between these two guys now on Polypoid, I'm almost wondering if the advantage is going to be to Seraph. Almost wondering if the advantage is going to be to Seraph. Uh, I'm curious if he's going to opt for that two gate opener once again. It looks like he is going to go one gate. Never mind. He's, we'll see. He hasn't decided yet. We've got that gateway and that probe scout initially moving out. He's going for a clockwise scout. Dentar going for the standard gate into a simulator. I feel like this is a map. Okay, we are seeing, in fact, gateway assimilator as far as a mix up. And this might be advantageous for Seraph because he might try to sneak an initial, just skip that initial zealot, get that initial dragoon. And oftentimes that, you know, small things like that that can push you uh, forward in the mid game. He is, scout, both players scouting clockwise. So both players are going to come across each other's base on second scout. <clears throat> but sometimes you can do little things like that and get away with it. We are seeing a cybernetic score before Zealot. And no Zealot being produced. I'm waiting for the 100 minerals to see on either side. Initial Zealot being produced for Dentarg, as you see, which is going to slow down that cybernetic score. And no, there is, okay, late first Zealot here for Seraph. But that's going to allow that cybernetic score to get up a little bit earlier. That's going to allow uh, that Dragoon to come out a little bit faster, which should deny scouting information a little bit earlier to Dentar comparatively, so small advantages here in a little bit of the early build mix-up. We have the Cybernetic score warping in. First Zealot is going to deny... So actually, I take it back. Early Scout is going to be denied Seraph because of this Zealot. And the Zealot is going to get in position, but is it going to be on... Is it going to be solidly on the ramp? I think this is a gap. That's a gap. Dentarg able to sneak through, sees the gateway, see the cybernetic score, the cybernetic score remaining silent at this stage of things. Now it's starting to whirl. And did the probe die? The probe died. Seraph, while that was happening, Seraph was trying to force his probe in and ended up losing it. Second Zealot has been produced for Dentarg, uh, which is going to slow things down a little bit in the early game for him. And now that probe going to go ahead and exit. So small win in overall probe production, but scouting information or as far as tech to follow, there are going to be more Dragoons in the mid game, which is, you know, it's a small advantage. This isn't a small map though, to really be able to fully capitalize on this. But as far as the early micro Dentarg is up 20 probes to 17 and he was able to pull that scouting probe back out. It looks like it wants to circle around. Go ahead. Are we going to see proxy tech potentially? I'm wondering if we're going to see proxy or if he wants to just Sit in position so we can go ahead and look and see if there's an additional nexus. One gate, Robo, initially here for Seraph. Opposite corner, we are seeing a robotics facility as well. So both players looking for one gate, Robo. I'm Dentarg wandering around this. Is he just going to sneak a nexus or just a pile on there? Pile on here to blockade, potentially. If this becomes a longer match, this 9 o'clock base could be a big thing. And also, that's going to be able to see those shuttles as they're scouting across. Kind of wondering what the life of a probe is like. I mean, are they sentient? Do they feel like... I mean, are they programmed to just be happy doing this sort of thing all day? Like wandering out? I, I feel like this is the best life for a probe, right? It's like wandering out into the wasteland. Seeing the sights. Occasionally getting shot at, but scooting away. Laughing at your enemy. Because you're super fast and can just, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop away. Uh, Zoidberg style. Shuttle <clears throat> being placed. And an observer. This is interesting. Shuttle before robotic support base. So we see the robotic support. They definitely suggest we're going to see early aggression for Seraph. In the meantime, the two Zealots and two Dragoons are making their way forward. Seraph should be able to hold this ramp. 
only a single gateway currently for Dentar. He does have that observatory himself. And range just going to be kicking in. Range is already finished for Seraph. Dentar, at the very least, getting the scouting information that there's no natural expansion. So he knows there's something up. Zealots trying to press their way forward. One Zealot is, uh, is going to get picked off as a result. And that's going to send Dentarg back to home base. And I think he, looking at the Dragoon count, might have a concept that he's up at least against a two-gate. <clears throat> kind of waiting to see his reaction. He is grabbing a second gateway himself. He's got his own robotic support bay. But has gone Observer first. And that's going to allow Seraph to get at least an initial tech advantage after this Reaver. And I assume it's going to be a Reaver in the shuttle, a move out, and an Observer to follow this. Uh, and then just press that natural expansion and play the game from there. Dentarg might be in a bit of trouble here. He does have a huge probe lead. He's just been way ahead, and I'm not sure if this is part of Seraph's build to just cut probes or if he's just been missing probe cycles. Uh, but right now, just in what he's been doing, he is at 30 probes to 17. Reaver in the shuttle. We have about 7 Dragoons. Going to be 8 Dragoons momentarily. And we're actually seeing double Reaver to start, so no Reaver follow-up with Observer. An initial Reaver out for Dentarg, which I think with this, outside of positioning where... Maybe he, maybe Seraph can try to do that split attack for us where he's threatening on the front and sends another Reaver in um, across other locations. But otherwise, Dentar going to go very comfortably, take his natural expansion. I'm worried about Seraph mostly because also supply blocked right here, missing a pylon. I wonder if he's playing a little bit. Okay, there he, there he kicked in. Um, a little worried about his macro at this stage. He's basically behind. Even taking a late Nexus, he's got half the probes comparatively, and that does play a big difference. This probe hanging out, uh, we might see him lose his life. He was able to sneak another pylon at the 6 o'clock location. But he's going to see these units. Well, maybe see some units moving forward. Another probe coming back to home base. That Nexus might have an opportunity to be cancelled. Go ahead and show Dentarg's view thing. He sees this army moving forward. That probe getting wiped out. This is going to be a challenge to defend. There are two Reavers, so it's going to be two Reavers with a shuttle versus one at close reinforcements locations. The Nexus looks like he's going to let that Nexus warp in before backing up. And this is kind of a, a box location, so and that oftentimes leads to better Reaver shots for these Dragoons. Dentar, Dentar trying to back up and spread his Dragoons out a little bit. The Reavers leading the way and pressing forward, maybe a little bit too far forward. One, ooh, one initial blast. Two Reavers now on the ground one did it get it did get hit there the shuttle gonna get taken out so it's two reavers now without shuttle support one reaver has been taken out with a nice counter reaver shot and that's triggering seraph to just do a full engagement here the pylons causing some nice disruption and looks like seraph is not targeting the reavers on the opposite corner did get some nice splash there one reaver down that last reaver just going to be able to sneak out some reinforcements making their way across but dentark still has an opportunity with the close reinforcements to engage this, he's pulling the probes off the line. Doesn't want to end up losing probes. Initial probe hit. Is that a dud? It's a dud. That's unfortunate. So a single Reaver and a single Dragoon now at the natural expansion denying uh, denying things there. There are three gateways. So in a moment, and I think before this Nexus can be taken out, Dentarg should be able to defend this. He's still sitting at 34 probes versus 17. Now the Dragoon's sneaking forward and spreading themselves out, wisely spreading themselves out, although a little bit too far there. And that's that Reaver going to get taken out. Now with another round of reinforcements, he's going to be able to just walk down and take out these Dragoons. And he's going to lose two pylons for his effort, but this puts Dentarg way ahead as far as, as, far as a follow-up. And more Dragoons coming across, but yeah, as soon as this Reaver's here, actually might want to move down now. Okay, yeah, so now, now showing that threat, Seraph is going to go ahead and back off, and he is in desperate trouble. At this stage, he's got another Reaver. He's going to have to wait on a shuttle to be able to move them across. The Observer sees that there's no natural expansion. Probe's moving across, so now it's like two bases. two ba Not just two bases, but two really well-saturated bases for Dentarg versus the one base that is still sitting on 17 probes for Seraph. And he is all in with whatever this follow-up is. And honestly, if he's going to... He has to wait on that shuttle to get those two Reavers in place. It's going to take a micro-miracle to get back into this match. He's got an observer moving across. He three, sees the three gateways. 
seized the robotics facility. He might be able to see army positioning at the very least. A shield battery plopped down for Dentarg. I like that play because he's like, I am so far ahead that all I have to do is survive. So opting for that. Uh, we do see that shuttle, yeah, now slowly building. So there's going to be one last hurrah into the natural expansion for Seraf to go ahead and go for an engagement there. There are... There are two Reavers now on the low ground. I would just keep building Reavers, honestly. He's going to go ahead and get a shuttle to provide some of that micro support. Also adding a fourth gateway. And it looks like an Observer got splatted. So how many, how many Dragoons is this? Looks like that's going to be 10 Dragoons. 11, 12 uh, coming up. So a full control group of Dragoons and a Reaver going up against, I believe this is a full control group of, well, so minus this. It's going to be 10 Dragoons, 2 Reavers, and close reinforcement points, comparatively. And that Observer sees those Dragoons kind of gathering up. I like the placement, at least for Seraph, as far as a, a rally point, because Dentard can't safely attack up to this unless he's doing Reaver shots, and he needs to be a little bit careful doing that, because the Dragoons might be able to slip down and pick off a Reaver. No shuttle support currently. It looks like he's moving up. Ooh, this might be a mistake for Dentarg. Attacking to the north there. Leaving the Reavers a little bit exposed. This top Reaver taking a lot of damage. And some nice shots across the Dragoons to the south. Dentarg still in a commanding economic position. All he has to do is macro and he will win this. Pulling back to his shield battery. The Reaver's too far forward for Seraph. One of them's going to get taken out without even firing a shot. The second one still not firing. And I think that might be it. The shuttle being pushed back. The Reaver going to that back corner with the close reinforcements. Dentark should be able to defend this. And continuing to press away at this. And yeah, it's just going to be get Dragoons. And I assume we're going to see a GG. There's GG from Seraph. Yeah, the Reaver is just walking forward. Not even on an attack move. So, we see Dentarg advance to the winner's match. We'll, still, we'll see Seraph advance to the loser's match. And we will see the opposite side of the bracket, which should be a fun one. And we're going to see a PVT. And uh, yeah, with some familiar players. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.